hey guys this is another video tutorial of windows system programming in this tutorial we'll see how to create mail slots mail slots is a uh, is an another ipc mechanism used as one way communication means unidirectional mail slots generally used for transmit to sort message sort message called in network datagram fourth one is that mail slots can be used either locally or over the network so this is the advantages of mail slot over anonymous pipe mail slot is a client server interface so in mail slot only client write the message which is stored on mail slot and later server can retrieve or read the message so basically client only can write the message into the mail slot and later point of time server can read that message so generally mail slot is message exchanging communication means always client broadcast a message and server can read that message but one advantage of mail slot is there mail slot does not provide any confirmation that a message has been received if the message is not received by the servers then your message must be lost and another important point is that we can send only 424 bytes of message so here are the programming steps first we have to server side we have to create mail slots api api is there then read file and then close handle client side will use create file then write file then close handle so check tutorial number four and five for create file read file and write file also check in description box for link of create file write file and read file apis so i have already provided the link of uh, create file write file and read file apis uh, tutorial for that so first api e is create mail slot function so if you see the return type of that function is handle type and there is four argument first one is your mail slot name second one is the message size maximum message size and then read timeout and then security attribute so check the first uh, parameter so name of the mail slot this name must have the following form we have to write in this form second one is the maximum size so maximum size if to specify that the message can be any size set the value to zero so i'll keep it here zero timeout third argument is timeout so i'll use this wait for a waits forever for a message and security attribute so i'll keep it here null so return value uh, if the function succeed the return value is handled to the mail slot otherwise it gets failed so it returns invalid handle value and we can print with the help of get last error function so here are the remarks section so please go through it once and here is the create file apis write file apis and one is read file so read file apis okay you can check my tutorial number four and five how to create file how to read a uh, message from the read file and how to write message onto write file and lastly i'll use close handle function which we have to pass the handle of that object so here is the mail slot server so i have already uh, i have already written the read file related a uh, variable and here the function so i'll directly start from create mail slot local variable so the return type of that function is a h slots is the variable name and uh, create 
mail slot first argument is the mail slot name so mail slot name must be in this format mail slots and then name of mail slot so my mail slots so second argument is ma maximum message size so if I'll put it here is 0 so I can s any number of uh, message size time out for the wait mail slots wait forever and then security attribute I'll keep it here null check the condition if invalid handle value So we'll print it here. Get last error. Error function. slots creation field and error number we can print with the help of get last error function second is that just copy success and then read file this is the server programming so server can manually read the message so here I have to pass the handle of the slots and rest of the things are similar so data reading for from mail slot mail slots client and lastly we have to use the close handle API and we have to pass the handle of slots edge slots so server side we have done and client side this is the exact program of how to create file read file and write file so mail slot so here I'll do some modification in client side only we have to use the create file and write file API so read file API I'll remove here also uh, ok I'll remove that and then create file and here we have to provide the pipe means loca location that's it and a read file we have to remove and here the write file and lastly close the handle so write your message so I'll use in runtime gets function and get function takes the write file buffer whatever we have write from the terminal it will restore and that file in that buffer and then later this uh, buffer we use in write file APIs so uh, it looks good so now it's time to build our codes 
so build first server program I think build succeeded build succeeded now the client client create file and then write file operation and then this okay so build so build succeeded so first we have to run server program So mail slot creation success. This one is the mail slot server. Now go to the client. Then we have to write, write the client. So this one is the mail slot client. This one is the mail slot server. So I'll write message here. Hello from mail slot. So enter. So see here, read file success, and our message is "Hello from mail slot client." It will print on server side. So this was the basic program of mail slots. How to create mail slot client and mail slot server. Thanks for watching this video. Do hit comment, share, and subscribe this channel.